This is one of my favorite places on the Blue Trail. These two lakes are kept from one another by a little stretch of land. They only meet when it rains. It's a romantic tragedy of nature. I've read a few times that Finland is at the top of lists that rank happiness. And I think I'm at the top of the list of Finns when I'm in places like this. You know, it's not only the beauty. It's the way nature shapes this landscape without any real end goal in mind. It's incidental beauty. Or to think about it in another way. Is it perceived as beautiful by anything other than humans? What factors have made us appreciate this? Does a monkey climb a tree only to pick the fruit? Or does he also take a second to appreciate the view? The way nature fits it all together is funny to me. Have you heard the quote from Edison? I have not failed. I have just found 10,000 ways that won't work. <laughs> Describing his method for creating something is perhaps close to how evolution works. Nature needed countless mutations to create a thing that contemplates how many times it needs to create another thing. I, I wonder if you could call Edison's various attempts as him using his imagination and creativity. Uh, could you then call nature's evolution and mutation as a manifestation of its creativity? But is evolution's creativity like a child painting or like an inventor finding ways that don't work? <laughs> I think I need a long walk to think about this some more. I've seen a lot of brown bears to the north of here. There are rumors of a great big unique looking bear in the region. I have never seen it myself. And I'm not sure if it's true or not. Maybe you could go and check it out. You know, in old Finnish mythology, the bear is a very sacred animal. We say karhu in Finland. When a bear was harvested, a great feast was held in its honor. And part of the celebrations was about convincing the bear spirit it had died by accident and not been killed. This was done so that the bear spirit would not try to seek revenge. Afterward, the community would help the bear spirit return to the forest, so they would continue to be game in the future. For other communities, the bear was a son of a god and was symbolically married to a maiden to make a bear god happy. Waking up on a Wednesday and hearing the good news, you're being married to a grizzly today. <laughs> have you written your vows? We might not have a lot in common with ancient people, but hunting and celebrating the harvest is something we've been doing for many millennia. That emotion and activity ties us directly to the hunters that came before us. You know, it takes a while to sink in. You are doing and feeling the same exact thing hunters 5,000 years ago might have felt. The last ice age created a lot of amusing landmarks on the Finnish landscape. I've marked their location on your hunter mate, so you can check them out. Apart from natural landmarks, there are a few man-made ones here as well, that I think would be worth visiting. I recommend you to check them out, if you happen to be close to one of them. Just northeast of here, up the cliff is a lookout tower. This trail does not get any closer, so if you want to use it, now is a good time. Come back here when you want to continue the trail. We are pretty close to halfway through the blue trail now. Have you been enjoying yourself so far? You know, there are plenty more trails to walk on. For example, the yellow trail takes you through the hills. My personal favorite, the one me and Pirio take when we want a long walk with Holly, is the Red Trail. It's a bit of a trek, but it goes down through the archipelago. Pirio is an oceanologist, so we can mix business with pleasure and bring our binoculars for some bird watching. We have many different species of birds that visit us. Um, 
I don't remember the names of the birds in English. Uh, we have the uh, Metsahanhi and the Tukkasotka. And oh, oh yes, yes, <laughs> this one I know. We have the Golden Eye, which I remember because uh, Pierce Brosnan. Uh, he's good, James Bond. And maybe you know, birds can't keep secrets. So if you listen, you can usually hear them long before you see them. When I want to get really close to them, I usually use a pulse blind. We have them available in the shop if you want to use one. Talking about birds reminds me of a song me and Pirio made together a few days ago. We recorded the call of some birds and made this. It's very short, but I think it turned out funny. Uh, let me put it on. Right? A Pirio is very talented. You know, west of here is a lookout tower, and northwest of that there is an outpost. It's a bit of a walk, but you can visit them now if you want, or we can just continue on the blue trail. You know, this country has a history of high accuracy riflemen. And I believe it is important that a hunter is a few things.